page 324, I will do 5A. So I am given a number. What number do I know? 5.75 times 10 to the 24th yeah. atoms. Okay, and it's asking me to find what for those two? How many moles? How many moles? So I'm simply going from atoms to moles. So I, what do I need to get rid of? Atoms. So where does atoms go? Bottom. Bottom. I want it to cancel. Can I change atoms to moles? Yes. In one mole, there are? So here, I'm going to do what with this number? Divide. Divide. If the number's on the bottom, I'm going to, to divide. If it's on the top, I multiply. So if I take this, divided by this, Exactly what do you get on your calculator? 9.5514950017. I'm going to go that far. <laughs> and my answer if is. Round it, it'd be 1, 5. Okay, but that's all right. Okay. And then times 10 to the 46. I didn't get that. I just got that number. You shouldn't get a big, you shouldn't have a huge number. I just got that. You just got that? I'm, assume, I'm assuming you should just get this. I got... Yep, that... I got that too. Times 10 to the something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the 46. Okay. Two things. Did you put parentheses around both? How many significant digits should my answer have? Three. Three. So I actually, my answer should be 9.55 moles. Okay, now that time I got it. My hint here. If it's asking for atoms or molecules, if it's looking for some kind of particles, you're going to have a big number, times 10 to the 25th, 10 to the 23rd, 10 to the 24th. If you're looking for moles, it should be a normal number. It shouldn't be something so big. And when you're dividing, make sure you use your parentheses. Here again, make sure everybody practices this problem on their calculator and make sure that you're not getting a big number. You should only get 9.55, not a big exponent.